Okay, hey y'all. So Mary here. And I'm making this video because today I was moisturizing my locks. And I don't know um, if any of you have ever felt this way about your locks, but you have those moments where you just really love your locks. And I was like, whoa, I really love my locks. It's just so amazing to have them. So it made me think about all the pros of locks. And this is not some inventive, like, innovative idea to make a video about the pros and locks, but I just wanted to make a video about it. Because I made a video, oh my gosh, how many months ago, called Lock Cons um, and things that weren't so great about locks. So I'm like, oh, why not make a video on the things that I love about my locks? So this is in no particular order. This is just... Like I said, things that I thought about as I was moisturizing my hair. Um, and in my last video, I said I moisturize whenever. And today, my hair was like Sahara Desert. I said, let me go ahead and um, moisturize it. So I just sprayed some leave-in conditioning spray. And I used um, some sweet almond oil on my scalp. But that's neither here nor there. We're talking about lock pros. Okay, so the first thing, like I said, no particular order. Um... The first thing, and that goes back to my moisturizing routine, you know, my moisturizing routine that I did today. Um, you don't need a lot of products. So, I don't know about you guys, but before I got locks, I did the Big Chop in 2012. I got my locks in 2017, so that was five years of being a loose natural. Five years! Um, and in those five years, I became a product junkie. Like, I bought everything like I don't care I mean I have four and five different types of gels it would be I mean Shea Moisture um I mean I can't cream of nature you name it <laughs> I had it can too it would just be so many products and it would just co-washes conditioners shampoos and all of these things and with locks you don't need that. Like, I literally use shampoo, oil, and a leave-in conditioner. Or sometimes I'll use a rinse-out conditioner because with locks, you really don't need that. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. I have, being locked, got sucked into certain products. Like, no offense. I know this is blasphemous. But rose water is just not the jam. You know, I'm just like... What's so great about it? Like, I used it, and I was like, I could be spraying some water in my hair for all of this. It's just water with a smell to me. And maybe I don't didn't research the benefits of it. Maybe it's doing something inside the lock. But I'm just like, I could just spray some leave-in conditioner or water and get the same result. So that was my first uh, pro is I don't need that many products. Now, I still be lurking. I still sometimes find myself reading about twisting creams and stuff you know I, my daughter is a loose natural so having a loose natural daughter does allow me to feed feed my product junkie addiction but it's not as bad as what it was like i just find what works and just keep replacing those items i don't have to use anything new if it works it works um what else do i like about the uh, locks oh low maintenance and it is so get up and go. I mean, the freedom and just being able to get up, run your fingers through your hair and be out the door is amazing. If I wanted to pin it back, throw it up with the, a wrap or whatever, it's just get up and go. If I wash my hair. It's just easy to just, after you finish, just be gone. And, like, I thought loose natural hair was like that. But as it started to grow, it was And I'm not here to bash loose natural hair. But these are just the lock pros for me. So, it's very low maintenance. I mean, outside of retightening and moisturizing here and there, um, that's pretty much all you have to do is especially depending on what type of locks you have if you have locks that need to be retightened because some people are not into you know manicure locks they just kind of let their locks let their hair do what they want but for me i just have to get my retightenings every six weeks so that's every month and a half and i'm good to go 
Um, another pro for me is, um, and it kind of ties into the low maintenance, it saves time. And like wash day is not even a day. Like wash day used to legit be a day. Like when I'm telling you I was pre-pooing, shampooing, conditioning, deep conditioning, detangling. It was just, and then, you know, detangling, blow drying, stretching, um, styling. It was just, and then did all that cleaning just to dump a bunch of products in it to make the hair tame. It's like, okay, so I didn't stretch and I got to throw all this gel or whatever back in it or custard or whatever to get the style that I want. So wash day is wash minutes and I legit now I don't wash my hair in the shower it's too much it's too much I, I like to if I'm in the shower I want to be in the shower I am a kitchen sink person shout out to the people who use the kitchen sink yeah, I know about the kitchen salons I grab my used to have but I will wash my hair in the sink um and I am literally done if I started my shampoo at 3 by 320, I'm done with the shampoo. I'm done with the conditioning. I'm pr pretty much at the phase where I'm probably towel drying and uh, braiding it. If I want to do like a braid out or just letting it hang. Um, and then I'm done. So wash day, it saves time. Um, so that's another con. I mean, I'm sorry, another pro. It saves time. What else? Um, versatility. Yes, let's talk about the versatility of these here locks. Now, I'm not really one for versatility because I got locks because I didn't really want to do much to my hair and still look like I cared about myself. Um, but the versatility, like, it's so many things you can do with your hair when you have locks, you can wear it up. You could wear it down. You could braid it. You could do, uh, I think it's called fishtails. You could color it. I mean, a lot of things that you can do with your loose hair, but the reason I like locks is because you can do all these things and don't have to worry about your hair tangling up. Oh, my goodness. And then with locks, too, it's just so many um, type of locks. Like, you can have sister locks, micro locks. You can have, um, guys can have brother locks. You can have traditional palm roll. You can have free form. And then the different sizes of them. I mean, I just, just all the different things you can do with your hair um, with locks is amazing. So that's a, that's a pro for me. Why well, keep saying kind? That is a pro for me. Like to be able, even like when I can't, like say I do decide to try a style, you know, let's just say, uh, the pigs decided to fly and I want to try a new style. Like, even if it doesn't work out, I could just take my hair down and it's just back to normal. I don't have to worry about, oh, now my hair all tangled up or it didn't revert it back. Let me, you know, comb it out or blow dry it out because I didn't have to put all this water or stuff in my hair. So, versatility. Um, so, what did I say? You really know, you don't really need products. Uh... It's low maintenance, uh, wash day is a breeze, and versatility. And then my last thing would just be my freedom, like the fr like not being so consumed by my hair because I would say another pro would just be that, the freedom, not being consumed by my hair. Like I said, I never felt more beautiful. I've never had as much confidence. And I think because for me, I used to, I really like my hair to look neat. And that's not anything about, oh, society wants black women to look a certain way. I just liked my hair to be neat. So I, even though frizziness was a part of the natural journey, I didn't like frizziness. So with the locks, to me, they always look neat. You know, they look like locks. So like, to me, this looks neat. This might not, you know, it's like a thrown up style, but it's not all over the place, you know? So I just like the freedom that comes with locks, the confidence that I've gained. Um, it is the best hair decision so far that I've ever made. After, yeah, big chop. Yeah, locks. Locks is the best hair decision that I've ever made. Um, so those are my pros. I just decided to throw this video together just because I thought about that today. And I said, well, let me throw a video together. Um, 
about lock pros. So share some of your lock pros down in the comments if you choose to. And thanks for watching. Thank you.